Hi all, today let's take a look at what is meant by React Reconciliation and what are the guidelines which are being followed by the React diffing process. React Reconciliation is the process through which React updates the DOM. So whenever the state or props of a component is changed, React needs to take a decision whether it needs to update the DOM based on certain guidelines. Now let's take a look at each of these guidelines based on which React makes the decision whether to update the DOM or not. So for demonstration purpose, I have created a sample React application which contains a label wrapper component and within that a label component. So the label component is nothing but a formatted code which contains this text and the label wrapper, it has a state variable called the label. Based on its value, it will determine whether to display a P tag or a div tag within which a label component is residing. So in this label wrapper component, what I am doing is based on an interval, I am toggling the value of the label variable. So it's a boolean, it will be toggled from true and false. And based on this value, I will be displaying a p tag or a div tag. So like the parent component within which, uh, the parent element based, uh, within which the label component is residing, it will be changed based on the state value. So let's see this in action. So if you see the application, you can see that the entire element is getting torn down. So this is the div which is present in the label wrapper component. And this is the div or the p tag which contains the label component. So basically, whenever the parent component or the parent element is changed, React will just tear it down and create a new instance. So if you go into the console, you can see that the label element is getting created each two seconds. Now let's see what would have happened in case the parent element was the same. So here I am replacing the div tag with a p tag and I am refreshing the application. Now when we inspect this particular element, you can see that the elements are not getting torn down but only the value of the attribute title it is getting changed every two seconds so what happens is like when react checks the parent element and it finds that it is this of the same type it will just check for any changes in the attribute values so it, if i had provided a style or a class name it will just check for that attribute values and in case they change it will keep on updating it so you can see that the inner label component it is not getting replaced so when we check console logs which i have placed in the lifecycle hook it is not getting executed so once react completes the check for the parent components it will keep on going in deep into the children and it will be looking for similar changes like whether the type is same or not so let's take a look at another example so here what i have done is inside a unordered list i have created a list of items so here i am displaying it as uh, a b b c c and all. so initially what i have done is i have created an array and inside that i have not provided any unique identifier only the name is there and i am just repeating it in a loop so when i click on this button it will add a new item at the end so now when we inspect this you can see this list already there and i am clicking the add item you can see that there are no issues only a new element is created at the end so now let's see what happens in case i move this as the first element So here basically I am putting the new element as the topmost one. So I, let me refresh the application. So uh, here is the list. Now I am trying to add the item. So you can see that uh, the entire list got refreshed. So basically what happened is like React, React updated this entire DOM. Like it had to recreate all these list elements one more time so why did react update the entire list of items so 
the, because we did not provide any unique identifier for these elements react had to depend on the order of these elements so since we added the new element as the first item when react compared based on the index it thought that the entire dom tree had been changed since the index of this had been replaced so like the same thing happens in case we use index and suppose we provide the keys so as you are familiar the key attribute is there and here I can provide index so basically this is exactly similar to what happens in case we didn't provide anything so you can see here now there are three items and when I add the first item again all the items got re-rendered so what we should be doing is we need to provide a unique identifier for each of these items so here I am providing is ID and for the new item also I am providing a value and in the key I am providing the ID as the key so now what happens is like you can see there are three elements now when I add a new item only that single item is getting added so the existing items are not getting recreated so since we provided a unique identifier react is able to identify that the, none of these elements has changed and only a new item has been added at the top hope you were able to get a clear idea about the guidelines which are being used by the react reconciliation process see you soon thank you